Okay, let's go ahead and set up our diffusion modeling spreadsheet. What we're going to do is I've got a little bit started here, but actually I want to take these two sheets and I'm going to rename the first one and call it the, the interface. So this is where we'll interact with it. And then the second sheet I'm going to call the uh, model calculations. And that's where we'll, well, it's kind of like under the hood, we'll put the main calculations over here. So then on the interface, here we want to say uh, delta x equals, and then let's insert the name. And we'll carry on with the other ones. Okay, I've added the other variables. So there's delta t, and it has the name. K has a name. So lambda, let's just go ahead and calculate it. This one is equals Okay, so notice here that delta x is squared here in, for the, in the definition of lambda. And it's zero, divided by zero because uh, the delta x is nothing in there right now. One thing we want to remember is uh, lambda has to stay below 0 0.5 or our estimations will be unstable. And then you see the other units. So delta x is going to be in meters, the time is in thousand kilo years, and then k ends up having meters squared per thousand years. Let's carry on. So let's set up our x position. So these are just um, the cumulative uh, delta x. So we can even put our i nodes here. So one, two, and we'll go down maybe about 30 nodes, let's say. So then x position uh, is going to be the delta x times the the node position, but we want it to start at zero, so it's going to be minus the first node position. So this is basically equals delta x times i minus delta x. That'll just make sure that the first one is zero. So let's say this is uh, two meters. So if I fill this down now, I'm at zero two. So that way it, it um, has a meaningful beginning. And then let's make the uh, h. So these are the elevations. These are the ones we'll change. So we've been using a kind of arbitrary eight meter high uh, initial scarp. Go down to about 15 or so. And then let's do uh, one. Now remember, these are completely arbitrary. And these are the ones that you can change. And so let's make them bold, because we want to remind ourselves that they can be changed. Whereas the uh, x and the i's, we don't change. They'll, uh, we just would change this delta x. Okay, so there we've got the initial uh, initial shape ready to go. Okay, we've got our initial shape ready to go. So let's go over to the model calculation space. And so here we're going to repeat the i's and just say these are what are on the other interface on the interface so it's just kind of equals these guys and uh, see how it says interface so we can fill down right to 30 let's delete uh, that last one okay and then uh, let's uh, we don't really need the X because it's uh, already included it it's uh, calculated and, and not actually part of the difference calculations so let's do L going this direction. And so the first L time is 1, 2. And so then what we thought was to go to about 200. OK, actually, let's do 201. OK, so we've got 201 time steps, and we've got 30 space steps. So we'll take the uh, very first elevations. These are the H's. These will be the. Uh, initial conditions so that equals what's on the interface right here and then we can just fill down okay so there they are and they are just equal exactly to what's on the prior one now remember these edge nodes are boundary conditions so they're just always going to be what they were before 
okay? And same with this one, just equals to the left, enter. So now this is the kind of big step in a sense. This is where we put in the difference equation. Okay, so let's just remember, re review our equation. It's uh, number seven from the uh, prior lecture. And so here we go, just gonna say equals, there's H I L plus, and then here's the lambda calculation, but let's go ahead and do it explicitly. So this is, uh, let's do the top here, equals K, and then times delta T, and then that's on top, divided by delta X squared. Okay, so that whole thing multiplied times, and what's inside the parentheses is the, let's get this right here, there's HIL plus one minus two times HIL plus HIL minus one. Okay, so let's fill down and then we can fill that fill across okay so we got it full we got our whole calculation space there ready to go let's go to the interface and just put in a few things here 0 0.1 and um, 1 meter squared per thousand years lambdas there got a good looking calculation grid here so now we just need to um, kind of bring information back over to our interface page that we can look at. So here's the final elevations, and these are just equal to the elevations at the, the end of our column here. Just fill down here. So there they are. Let's be sure to make the initial elevation column bold if you don't have it already bold and these constants can be bold to remind you that those are ones you can change now we want to highlight these three columns and select them so that we can make our our uh, plot so you see a scatter with straight lines and markers so there they are and the nice thing about doing this way if you select X and then the initial and the final, uh, Excel is smart enough to uh, put them in with um, as using X as the same uh, values for both of the y-axis variables. So now let's change some things. Let's uh, okay. Let's do one last thing. Let's do age equals. And this is equal to delta T times the number of time steps is here 201 minus another delta t so that way uh, it is uh, the very first one when l is 1 this will make the time 0 okay so this is 20,000 years old uh, how about 0 0.2 40,000 years old 0 0.5 100,000 years old so uh, slowly see the form uh, change.